Chandrayaan-2 has captured uh, images of uh, the lunar surface. ISRO has tweeted uh, the images that have been captured by the module's uh, terrain mapping camera. On your screens are those uh, images. Uh, the terrain mapping camera has uh, put out uh, and, and captured those uh, images and ISRO has tweeted the same. On your screens, you can see some of them. Of course, the entire uh, exercise is aimed to find in greater detail uh, as to whether or not the surface of moon uh, uh, has uh, helium, has several other minerals, uh, all that in an effort to really identify uh, in greater detail uh, whether or not uh, uh, also, of course, water as well. In greater detail, the idea is to uh, examine the surface of moon uh, and there you can see the terrain mapping camera uh, putting out those images uh, and ISRO has tweeted them uh, as well. Lunar surface has been captured at 4,375 kilometers uh, and this is the image. Uh, this is in close proximity. Uh, Chandrayaan 2 is now in close proximity to the moon uh, and this has been, as I said, captured at a little under 4,400 kilometers. Moon's craters can be so clearly seen in this uh, image, uh, very visible uh, craters uh, of the moon in this image uh, and that is going to help uh, identify the next course of action in terms of research for uh, scientists uh, on what lies in uh, the lunar surface. Mugilan joining us for more on this. Mugilan, go ahead. We can see those images on our screen. Uh, definitely, this is the second image that Chandrayaan has sent uh, to the uh, ground stations here uh, in Bangalore. First, we saw an image of the moon lunar surface and this it's, it, this image has been sent by the terrain mapping camera. That is the second terrain mapping camera which is fixed on board of Chandrayaan 2. And in this image, we can very clearly see the markings. That, that is the markings. There are four markings and these four markings are the craters that are found on the lunar surface. And it also says a very important detail stating now the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter is revolving around the moon's orbit at 4,375 kilometers above the lunar surface and very important to note that there are two more orbit lowering maneuvers that is on 28th and on September 1st and during this orbit lowering maneuvers the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter will be further pushed close to the moon's surface and we can still expect very clear and detailed images of the lunar surface once the two lunar uh, sorry the orbit lowering maneuvers are done and after September 1st, the orbiter, that is the Chandrayaan 2 satellite and the lander will separate each other. Both will be revolving the moon's surface as two different ent entities. So, very complex and very interesting days are ahead for ISRO and we are waiting to see the surgical strike level precision that ISRO will be carrying out these operations. Mm. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.